Okay, so now we're going to play around by experimenting with pad two, even though we're going to input the pad type. Okay, I'll input the pad type in so it loads in some basic settings. It knows that the trigger is on the A. The exclusive is no, because there's going to be no interaction with the FSR. And now we can play with different gain settings. Now the gain settings will drastically affect the overall range uh, when you train. So let's just say, for example, I had it here at R2, at a resistor capacitor, both engaged, and um, my threshold is down to 1, as low as it possibly could be. If I went to the training now and struck it, I get a 297, and I get an 8. Eh, I don't really like that that much because it's not sensitive enough down here. So I would say, okay, I'm going to try a different gain setting. And let's say I'm going to start with a gain setting of C1. Now remember, in the gain settings, 1, 2, 3, 4, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, for C with the capacitor in, 1, 2, 3, 4, for R with the resistor in, then just numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 being the, um, is the, the largest gain and 4 is less. So I'm going to start with the C1. The capacitor's in there, which helps protect sometimes from, um, from false triggers, and see what that gives me. Now I go back to train. 2A. Much better. 693. Let me hit that again. Make sure that I'm getting a consistent loud hit. 630. 628. 724. Oh, I moved it. Hold on. 601. Okay, I'm going to do 601. And now I'm going to hit it soft. 18. Okay, so now... Okay, now listen real carefully, and you're going to hear a little bit of, of like a double trigger when I play soft. Hear that? Hear that? Brr. That means there's a little bit of interaction with itself. Watch how the magic happens. I go to interaction. I hit it. When maybe, eh, once enough, actually. Now watch. Gone. So now I have a drum all ready to play. Now there are some other factors that you may want to consider. One is that you're going to go to the edit and when you, with your note number, you're going to decide once you have your note number, is decide what your minimum and maximum is going to be. Let's say that you want to roll and, ah, it's not even, ah, I can fix that. If I raise my minimum velocity a little bit, it'll make my rolls more even. So that's one thing that you can do. Another thing that you can do is in globals, you can play with a curve. Right now I have an on head curve, but there are many curves inside this instrument that will affect how quickly it gets to loud and soft. And you can also create your own user curve. So you find the one that says user curve one, you call up one, and you can edit the 16 points to get it just the way that you want. Another thing that you can do is you can play with the threshold. If you feel that he's getting a little Unwant the triggers when you can raise it up a little bit. Let's say the six. Now I really can control one, two, three, four, or whatever. So that's another cool thing to use. Mass time is another thing interesting, not so much for the Aquarian heads because they're FSR, but basically if you have a noisy signal, by raising this, let's say a bass drum in particular, you may want to, you never 
a very fast buzz roll is around 30 milliseconds. So you need the mass time to be low. But on a bass drum, you can never play that fast. And a bass drum wobbles a lot. So you may want to change that mass time up to something as high as 100. And you won't notice that it's missing anything. But it's helping eliminating all that rumble that's going on. We'll show you that later. But mass time setting, you can play with that. So if I move the mass time down to, to 20, you're not going to notice anything. But if I moved it up to 197, it's missing those notes because it's waiting until this time passes. So you don't want to do that when you're dealing with, with um, a, a snare drum. So let me show you some of the drasticness of the uh, mass time. So here I have it set low. It's capturing everything. But let's say I had it all the way up. Now watch what happens. It's missing all those notes. Cool for a bass drum, but not cool for a snare drum. So I bring it back down again. And I'll see all the hits.